As composer, we like to walk in the dark, we like to see what's happening on our screen, so we usually refer to that space as the cave. And we often refer to ourselves as wizard of the shadow, I would say. People are usually saying that what we do is black magic. We are taking images and we are assembling them all together to create an image that when you see it in the headset, it will just transport you. Being on the ISS is not something that is accessible to a lot of people, and that's what we recreate here. My job at Felix and Paul Studio is mostly being a conductor of the post-production. So just making sure that all the teams are on the right note at the right time. My name is Joël Roulian and I'm a post-production producer and this is Toscan. We are about 20 people in the post-production department, starting with the management team, editors, encoders who make sure that everything is packaged in the right format for the right platform. We have Pipeline who build custom tools we have also audio department and compositing. My name is Jeremy Bazin and I'm the VR compositing supervisor. What we do here at Felix and Paul Studio is a bit different from other studios. So if you come from a VFX background and you did 10 years in VFX compositing, that still applies here, but you will still need to have a three main specialty working here at Felix and Post Studio. So compositing, then stereoscopy, and then virtual reality. That's not something that is very common. The industry is still emerging. So that is something that we will teach you here. To show you what it means to be a stereoscopic compositor at Felix and Paul Studio, we will break down together one of the shots that we worked on the ISS experience. The first step is calibration, where we take the fisheye lenses and we wrap them to be in their correct position into the sphere. At that point, we don't have stereoscopy yet, so the second step is to create those stereo pair by taking all those fish eye and do some vertical alignment and do some convergence, and each lens will be used for the left eye of one stereo pair and for the right eye of the second stereo pair. The third step is what we call stitching. Stitching is assembling images together. If you take two images and you just slap them on top of each other, you will see a line. We are using what we call vectors. We will actually wrap the pixel of each image so they are perfectly aligning on top of each other. Then we can draw a line and that stitch will be seamless because all the pixels are matching on both sides of the image. The fourth step is an optional step that we don't have in every shot, but let's say we have a character that is crossing from one camera to the other, like in the example. We will have first to clean plate the character to remove him or her from the image. Then we will have to do rotoscopy of that person, and then we will have to stitch him or her correctly. Once we have that, we merge the person back onto the clean background to be able to have a background that is stitched correctly and a foreground that works as well. As you're stitching and moving pixel around, the stereoscopy gets a bit off, so one of the final steps is to do some stereoscopic adjustment on the general images, and then we will apply the final color. And that's it, you have your final shot. We are using a software that are taking you to one step that in most studio would be the final image. But for us, it's like the starting point. And from that, we are refining the image until it's perfect when we look at it in the headset. So a shot of a few thousand frames could take up to a couple of months to assemble together. And we are always trying to get the best image as we can when you look at it in the headset you need to feel like you're there and there is nothing in compositing that will take you out of the immersion. One of the most challenging things I had uh, to face when I arrived at the studio was all of those little things that you don't normally have to think about when you're doing uh, television or cinema. 
I'll try not to splash you with the hair washing. We were filming into the space station and instead of having an astronaut with straight hair, you have an astronaut with curly hair. That can add weeks or months to the compositing because of the rotoscope you have to do for all of the little details. That is why you really need to make sure that from the director who set up the scenes to the compositing teams, that everyone is on the same beat to make sure that we're doing cinematic VR symphonies. I've been doing VR for quite a while now, more than eight years, and I would never think about moving back to traditional compositing. As soon as you discover what it looks like, what it feels like to be in a 360 3D image, there is no way back. 